fellow collectors, Frank with Frank with Collecting, and I got a little comic book spec day. Not really speculation as so much, it's just a really nice cover pickup. If you've been following a little bit, it looks like there's some rumors, speculation, maybe confirmed, I'm not exactly sure, from what I was just kind of reading online, that Mara Jade might be coming back into Disney Star Wars shows. Now, the what I kind of read on the internet, and again, I'm not really keeping up with it too much, and let me know if this is confirmed or not, or if this is just kind of like pre-production, movie talk, rumor, speculation. But it looks like Disney might be tapping back into a lot of the earlier stories of the Star Wars Expanded Universe for story material. And chiefly what I read was that the Heir to the Empire series might be coming back in some form. I guess it would be like in streaming seasons. We already got uh, Thrawn coming back at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. And you have to forgive me, I haven't seen Ahsoka Tan uh, show yet. Last thing I saw was the Obi-Wan series, and I haven't even seen Mandalorian Season 3. So I'm a little bit behind. I mean, is Mara Jade back? Is she coming back? Anyways, if she is, if that's something that's actually happening, I'm super excited about that because I loved the Expanded Universe uh, books by Timothy Zahn. I read the Heir to the Empire novels. I read those the graphic novel forms of those comics that came out from Under Dark Horse. And this right here is a recent comic book pickup I got. The Heir to the Empire se series number four. I believe this is the very first cover appearance of Mara Jade. Now, the really big Mara Jade book is just uh, is part of the other really big Star Wars Heir to the Empire book. And that is issue number one. First appearance of Admiral Thrawn, who is a huge character. I owned that book for a little bit. I ended up selling it. And uh, this is just a, a little bit of a cheaper one to pick up. Even though it's not the first appearance of Mara Jade, even though there are other Mara Jade books, another one to think about is the Mara Jade issue number one. I really think this is the best cover appearance. So first cover appearance. And another reason that I really like this Mara Jade book is it really evokes for me that Dagobah scene, uh, Dagobah chapter of The Empire Strikes Back, where Luke's on Dagobah, he's got R2-D2, you know, he's doing all that stuff, training on the swamp, facing his, you know, the dark side of his self. And there's that X-Wing in the back, right, that he has to pull out of the swamp, that Yoda in, ends up taking out of the swamp. And here we don't have an X-Wing in the background, but it is another ship. And this scene just really, for me, evokes that classic chapter from that movie. So, you know, you don't need to know what's going on in Heir to the Empire. I don't remember what's going on in this book, in this segment of Heir to the Empire. I don't remember that much about Heir to the Empire overall. It's been a long time since I've you know visited that story. But it does evoke that classic scene. It looks just like basically Luke was swapped out for Mara Jade, and it looks very dramatic. I love this, uh, just the overall visual eye appeal of this card. This is by the cover artist Matthew LaFray, or the cover art is by Matthew LaFray. Really dramatic work. If you go look up that Mara Jade number one, it's a little bit uh, less interesting, I think. You know, it's not as she's not as posed posed as dramatically. And she's surrounded by stormtroopers. It, it says something, has some kind of subtitle on it, and it just feels like you don't really know what's going on on the cover. Whereas with this, even though you don't really know what's going on in the story, it just, you know, it just looks like Empire Strikes Back, Luke, but it's Mara Jade. And so I think this is a great pickup. I got, I think I paid something like 275 for this in CGC 9.8. It was like a buy it now or best offer. I don't remember exactly um, if I made an offer, if I just bought it outright. But you're seeing, last time I checked on eBay, people kind of holding this one hostage at a higher price, like above $300. I don't know that that's really the, the fair market price for it right now. So you might want to look for this one in auction. Maybe do a safe search. And I think this is one, you know, if Mara Jade comes into the Star Wars universe, if she, uh, you know, is really popular and, and fans like me remember her and, you know, there's kind of a resurgence and in interest in this character, this could be maybe a book that sees movement. And if not, you know, it's just a great Mara Jade book to have. There's some uh, Star Wars Decipher Mara Jade cards. There's some um, uh, printed uh, art prints that are signed by the, the person who played Mara Jade on those cards, the uh, model who who portrayed her. And it's just a great character. I hope they really do bring her back. I hope that um, they do a good job with her and they really start to revisit a lot of these old stories because I love these old stories. There's so much good material here. I don't know why you know Disney wouldn't want to just bring them back. It's tremendous fan service. And I think a lot of this stuff would fare better than some of the original material that they've come up with. You know, there's been some some hits and misses, but a really great book. I just thought I'd bring it up because it was a recent purchase of mine. 
And a uh, great book to have if you're a Mayor Jade, Jade fan. I think this is a no-brainer if you can get it in auction, if you can get it at a decent fair market price. Do some price history checks on this book. But uh, otherwise, yeah, that's all I have to say about this book. Great one. I think I have another one in maybe a raw raw copy. I think I bought this one maybe raw. I might have another graded one. I haven't really checked in my, in my storage lately, my comic storage. But uh, a year or two back. But just a great Mayor Jade pickup. And uh, yeah, let me know if y'all remember these old Heir to the Empire series. Who's one of your favorite old um, early Expanded Universe characters that used to be canon? And uh, I'll be sending you another Star Wars video and another video on my channel very soon. Thank you.